So hello everyone and welcome to my new video. My name is Maria Rubio and I am an illustrator and I'm here to talk to you about Annecy, the animation film festival. And we're going to be cooking a beetroot apple salad with hummus, which is like delicious. To make this recipe, you will need for the salad, beets. I like to use this kind of beets, like the ones that already come cooked and in a package. Apples, onions, sliced pickles for the hummus, a can of chickpeas, one clove of garlic, olive oil, salt, lemon juice and tahini. And besides all that you're also going to need some greens and some seeds to put on top. Let's get talking about the festival now. Uh, before I start, a quick disclaimer. This video is about things you need to know and sort out as soon as possible because time is clicking. I'll do a second video talking a bit more about what to expect and what's all about. So, Annecy, the film festival. Well, the name is quite self-explanatory. International Animation Film Festival. So basically, it gathers people from all around the world, professionals and animation enthusiasts, in this beautiful French town located in the Up region. The city is built around a lake. There's like a beach kind of thing. You have canals and all that. It's a fairy tale town. So yeah, for an entire week in June, normally it's the second week of June, people from all around the world gather in this beautiful, beautiful town and they attend to screenings, parties, um, signing events, talks, like, I don't know, it's a really an amazing event to network, to meet people, to just relax and have fun, and you might be even get your next animation job there. I got my first animation job actually the first time I went to Annecy, so you might be lucky. Like, as I said in the beginning, I'll get more into, like, the specifics in a future video because else this is going to be too long but I guarantee you you're going to meet amazing people you're going to have an amazing time you might even get a new job I don't know I don't know it's just really good place to be so this recipe is so so easy it comes together in a food processor and a blender Okay, so all you need to do is just chop all your veggies for the salad, except for the pickles, throw them in the food processor and blitz them until they are nice and chopped. Here I am adding an extra beet because I felt like it was lacking a bit of beetness. As for the hummus, just throw all the ingredients in the blender and blend away. <laughs> That's it. See, it's super easy. We basically have the dish done. Okay, so now that it's all nice and blended, like you'll be looking for like a consistency like that. We are gonna slice pickles uh, because I like to have a bit of contrast in the food, else it's all gonna be like the same texture and size and all that. This is so cute. It's like a tiny smile. Uh, let's talk about how to access the festival, the tickets, so to speak. Um, they call them accreditations and you have a few type of them. I'm going to run you a bit through like the most common types, the ones that you will probably go th go for. I've, I can only talk to you from my experience and from what I've seen on the website. So <laughs> within the like professional section, you have Festival, Festival Plus and MIFA. The festival is the cheapest one. It will give you access to most things, except master classes, making of, and works in progress. And some of the MIFA things, which I'll explain a bit later. Then you have the Festival Plus, which is a, quite a bit more expensive. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think the student pass is the same as this one, but just cheaper. So if you're a student and I think a teacher as well, you can get that one. It's 
the same as before, the same as the previous one, except you can access those things you couldn't with the previous one, those being the master classes, work in progress, and making up. If you're like me and you just want to meet a bunch of people, maybe go to a few screenings, get access to the recruiters and all that, I always go for the basic festival one because I go more as a holiday, a networking holiday, than like to the events inside the festival. But it depends on what you want. That's just me. And the last path I'm going to talk to you about is the MIFA path. This path is like unlimited. It gives you access to everything inside the MIFA, inside the festival, everything. And what's the MIFA, you might ask? Well, as I said, there is a bit of like speculation. I like not speculation. It's mainly where all the like big professionals go like if you're a studio if you're pitching something if i don't know if you're rich because it's a pretty expensive path i think it's more like business focused if you just you know if you have a film you want to pitch or a show or whatever then this would be the one for you but i don't know much about this path so go and check it on the website but i'm pretty sure you'll go for festival or festival plus there's also a grand pass general public pass <laughs> which is like the same as the festival one, the only thing is that you don't get access to the recruiters. This one is pretty cheap. If you're not looking for a job or you just want to go to the screenings, the events and all that, then I suggest you take this one. One thing you must know though, even with an accreditation, that doesn't guarantee you'll get into the event. So there is this one day and you'll get an email if you register for an accreditation where the Annecy website opens so you can book the event. Everyone is there with like all the things they want to see open and normally the website crashes and all the events are gone in like no time. That doesn't mean you cannot see any of the events or if, if you don't get anything that doesn't mean you're out. No, of course. There is an app. You should download it on your phone and be constantly checking it while you're at the festival because some people just drop out last minute and they free a space. You can also queue, and if the event is not full, you can go in. If you want to go to events, there's a lot of queuing in Annecy, so be aware of that. Bring your sketchbook, bring your sunscreen, and some water, because there's going to be a lot of waiting. So now you have your pass, you have, you're excited, you're eager to go. Now let's talk about how to actually get there. So as I said, Annecy is located in France, in the border with Switzerland. Most people fly to the Geneva airport and then they get a shuttle bus to Annecy. This is like the most common route. This is how I'll be going this year. But you can also fly to Lyon, which is in France, and get a bus from there. Uh, both are basically the same, like one hour bus drive to Annecy. Um, and I know you can also fly to Chambéry. Chambéry? 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 Or Grenoble. I don't know anyone who's gone there. I don't know if this is like viable, but yeah, those are like the main airports that are closest to Annecy. As for the accommodation, the best thing to do is book an Airbnb. You can go camping as well, but the weather in Annecy is a bit unpredictable, so if you get good weather, good for you. But last time I went, it was raining the entire week, so you don't want to be in a tent <laughs> in that scenario. So check the weather and pray for the best, I guess. Hotels are very, very expensive. So I, well, if it's in your budget, go for it. But yeah, for me, the most fun is to get an Airbnb actually with friends. Normally what a lot of people do is the second the festival finishes, they book like a few Airbnbs for the next year. And then depends on how many people they go with or the circumstances, they drop them. So yeah, you should book them as soon as possible. If you don't find anything, keep looking because as I said, a lot of people overbook and then they just drop because, you know, there is a lot of people coming to this festival. Try to book in the city center if you can. Of course, it's the best place to be as in most cities. The center of the festival, like the, the main area of the festival, it's at a place called the bon lieu i think that's how it's pronounced and it's where you pick up your accreditation where you see loads of the screening you'll have most of the signings there uh, you also have like the famous comic and art book shop which is amazing and you must check it's a whole bunch of stuff it's like the central point of the the festival 
Also, if you can't find accommodation in city center, that's okay. Uh, you can rent a bike. It's a very nice coastal town, even though it's a lake, lakey town. I don't know, but it has the vibe of like a sea town. So you can bike around the, um, the lake and go everywhere with a bike. Uh, I did that my second year because our, uh, our house was pretty far out, but it was like really nice. With the bike, it was just like half an hour, beautiful cycling path. So yeah, that's also an option. So now let's get into the plating, shall we? I have this super amazing fancy dishes. They came with the house. This is what I'm gonna use because they look amazing and they're great for this dish, but you go for whatever you have. I do recommend like a big plate for this. Okay, so get your lovely plate there. And first thing, you're gonna take the hummus. You're gonna add a few spoonfuls, like I normally do one can for two people, so it would be half and half. Then I like to add some greens. I normally add them like, oh, like around there, like plating it nice. Like the recipe was very easy, you barely had to do anything, so put some time on the plating. I feel like the greens are just bolted. Now you're gonna add your salad. It's heavy. It's gonna be so good. And just add it in the center. It depends on how hungry you are. You're probably gonna have some like leftovers. There you go. And this is optional, but I do like to add some mixed uh, seeds or nuts for, you know, some added nutritious and crunchiness and deliciousness. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, and that's the dish for today. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh my God, it's a piece of art. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, I almost spilled that. Let's get a bit of everything. Leave there. Hmm. It never disappoints. It's so easy to make, you've seen it. Like, just pop the blender or the food processor. If you don't have one, use a grater or chop everything. But of course, the food processor is the fastest route to this deliciousness. Mm. So that's all for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gained some value of it. Hopefully, I'll see you in Annecy. If you're going, let me know in the comments below because I'll definitely be there this year for the entire week. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I booked, like the last time I booked, it was 2020, so we all know how that went. So I'm really excited to go this year because, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting friends, to meeting all these amazing people and all that. And as I said, there'll be an upcoming video where I talk a bit more of what to do, the joys and like the fun things to do there. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, you know, comment, like, subscribe, all the classic stuff. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye bye.